Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to an ESPN NFL 2K5 franchise dynasty run with the Philadelphia Eagles. It is week 8, we are on game 7, we are 5-1 and one overall, and we are facing the Baltimore Ravens at home. The Baltimore Ravens, red, led by Ray Lewis, have an imposing defense and one that we will have to face again without our two starting linebackers, Brian Westbrook and Corral Buckhalter. You can see that this is a pretty even game overall. The Ravens are great on paper. And before we get going, I'd just like to say it'd be really awesome if you subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 500. Leaving a like or a comment on the channel really helps as well. And if you're liking what you're seeing so far, leaving that sub would really help us out a lot let's get down to it eagles versus ravens let's head to lincoln financial field it's a beautiful evening here in philadelphia pennsylvania where the baltimore ravens are in town to visit their cross-conference rivals we can call them cross-conference rivals for sure the philadelphia eagles you see ed reed there an anchor of many anchors on this baltimore defense and the philadelphia faithful are here and ready to get going first play of the game the ravens would win the toss and baller finds todd heap for 14 yards jamal lewis getting his first carry of the game losing one on the tackle from javon curse Baller on second down, throwing up the middle, deflected away by Michael Lewis, didn't really need to deflect it, it is third and 11. Bowler rolling over to his right, tosses it over the middle, complete to Kevin Johnson, 25 yards on the play. First and 10 from Philadelphia's 40. Bowler tosses a lob over the left side to Johnson again, complete for 21 yards. First and 10 now from the Philadelphia 19, Bowler dropping back, tossing over to his right side, bouncing off the back of his offensive lineman, that one would be called an illegal touching of a forward pass. We would lose five yards on the play. Continue on first down. First and 15. Bowler throws over to the right side. Todd Heap again. Two catches for him already. 14 yards on the play. Second and one. Lewis runs to the right side. Simon Owens is there eventually and Shepard is there eventually to take him down. Three yard gain. First goal for the Ravens. From the eight. First and goal. Lewis runs up the middle. Taken down by Dawkins. Five yard gain on the play. Second and goal. A draw again to Lewis. Running over to the right side. Lewis grabs him. Lewis takes him down before the end zone. Third and goal, Jamal Lewis vaults over the line and it is a touchdown for the Ravens. First drive, first score, Baltimore is on the board, seven to nothing, and the Eagles have some work cut out for them today. Jamal Lewis vaulting that line, getting into the end zone with ease. First and 10, Philadelphia's 20, McNabb drops back, fires over the middle to Todd Pinkston, complete, it stretches out for a few extra yards, 15 yard gain. First and 10 from the 35, McNabb looking around, is sacked by Edgerton Hartwell, for a loss of four yards, bringing up second and 14. McNabb, play action pass to Perry, throws over the middle, looking for Pinkston again, bounces off of his hands, incomplete third and 14. To keep the drive alive, McNabb bounces way back, finds Freddie Mitchell over the middle, continuing his great play from the last game, 23 yard gain before Reed could bring him down. John Ritchie gets the draw up the middle on first down, gets no gain, Kelly Gregg was there to meet him. McNabb throwing to Owens, in and out of his hands, but a penalty would be thrown on the play. Peter Bolware called for the pass interference on the defense, giving the Eagles a first and 10 on the 37. Perry takes the first carry of his day up the middle for three yards, nothing much doing there. Second and seven, McNabb tosses it to that right flat to Perry, gets a few yards out of it, four to be exact, McAllister there to take him down. Third and three, another third down for these Eagles. McNabb throws it to Owens, this time in his hands, complete for eight yards. Ed Reed was there, but couldn't keep it out of his hands to bring up the fourth down. McNabb rolling right on first and 10, throws to the left side, deflected away by Fuller, looking for Owens on that one again. Second and 10, Perry takes it to the left side, has a block, has a little bit of space, cuts it to the inside, gets six yards on the play. Dempson Lewis there for the stop. Third and four, Terry gets the toss, runs outside of the outstretched arms of the defense, just over the line for the first down. First and 10 from the Baltimore 10. Freddie Mitchell has another reception right on the goal line, taken down by Reed just short of the end zone, and we will end the first quarter with the Ravens up seven to nothing. Perry gets the toss on that second and one and gets into the end zone for the touchdown. The second touchdown for the rookie out of Oregon, Bruce Perry. You can see here he has the daylight on the toss. Ray Lewis is there for the tackle, but it is not enough to keep him out of the end zone and we have a tie ball game in Philadelphia. The Ravens taking back over. Bowler finds Johnson for four yards. Second and six. Bowler dropping back. 
tosses it to the right side. Our new toy, Quinton Jammer, is there to deflect the pass away, bringing up third down on the third and six. Bowler passing again, this time finds Travis Taylor for eight yards. Sheldon Brown there for the tackle. First and 10, Baltimore's 38. Lewis runs to the left side, tries to get outside of the line, gets taken down by Dawkins, only two yards on the play. On the second and eight, three yards on the draw up the middle. Curse and Jammer there to combine for the tackle. Third and five, Bowler throws it to Taylor. It is complete, but Simon O is right on him and the Ravens will punt it away. First and 10 for the Eagles. Richie runs it up the middle for four yards. Second and six. Perry runs to the left for a big loss of three yards. Suggs was the first Ravens defender on him. There were a couple there to stop him. Third and nine now. McNabb to who else? Patero Owens. Big toss over the top. 23 yards on the play. Ed Reed there for the tackle. He's been just behind on a lot of these pass plays and the Eagles continue to fly. Richie gets the pass on the flat. Gets forward for about five yards. Peter Bolware drags him down, second and five. McNabb throws to the left side to Owens, in and out of his hands, drops it on contact. Another third down for these Eagles. And will the magic run out? It will right here. Edgerton Hartwell gets across for his second sack of the day. The Ravens get the ball right back. Jamal Lewis runs it to the right side. Six yards on the play before Jammer and Wayne tag team for the tackle. Second and four, Lewis gets another play on the draw. This time, Javon Curse is there to bring him down for another loss of one game. Third and five, Bowler throws it, and another pass deflected away by Sheldon Brown. Another good defensive stand from the Philadelphia Eagles. Another three and out from the Ravens, and another sack from these Ravens. This time, Kelly Gregg gets through for a sack of six, seven-yard loss on the play. But McNabb is right back, finding Owens for 17 yards and a first down. Baltimore territory on their 49. Owens throwing again, this time to no one was looking over the middle for somebody. Second and 10. McNabb takes it to the right side on the rollout. Rolls farther right, avoiding the play. Throws it over the right side to Freddie Mitchell, who has it with a little bit of space. He would be shaken up on the play after the shoestring tackle from Ed Reed. It's a 32-yard gain. Freddie Mitchell would be okay overall. First and 10 from the Baltimore 17. McNabb throws it over to the right side to Todd Pinkston, who has it, has some space, and is tackled into the end zone, but disaster strikes. McNabb is down. He would be carted off of the field, and we would confirm the worst after the game. McNabb has torn his ACL and would be out for the rest of the the season. A disastrous blow for these Philadelphia Eagles, but one that they'll have to carry on from regardless. After that first run from Lewis there, he gets the ball again, draws to the right side, avoids a couple of Eagles defenders, and is taken down for a gain of 10 yards, giving the Ravens a first down. Alan Richard this time getting the draw on the play, the fullback getting no gain on the play. Nate Wayne is there to take him down. Bowler passing to the right side on second and 10. The pass is incomplete, but he gets a bailout from the referee. Defensive pass interference is the call on Quinton Jammer, giving the Ravens a first and 10 from their own 39. Bowler dropping back to the pass again and throws it into his own lineman yet again. Another illegal touching of a forward pass by an offensive lineman via an errant shovel pass from Kyle Bowler, giving a first and 15 to the Ravens. On the first and 15, Quinton Jammer's volleyball spikes one of those passes away on the right flat. Another pass to the right flat from Bowler. This time, another no gain from Johnson. Tackled right at the line by Jammer and Brown. On the third and 15, Kyle Bowler throws it over the top, and that one is knocked away again, incomplete. And that will bring us to halftime. At the end of two quarters, there have been three touchdowns and one terrible catastrophic injury going into halftime it is Eagles 14 Ravens 7 looking at the tail of the stats McNabb was having a fantastic passing day before going down with said torn ACL putting up 153 passing yards only 16 yards on the ground but Perry has found himself into the end zone the Ravens also doing a good job on offense and again getting those three sacks to the Eagles none we'll see how Philadelphia will fare in the second half Jeff Blake is the backup quarterback coming in for the injured Donovan McNabb and he wastes no time. He finds the best target on the field. Terrell Owens over the middle for 18 yards. Hands it off to Perry for a gain of two on that one. And on the second and eight, Blake takes over again, dropping back, throwing to who else but Terrell Owens complete this time for 19 yards. Demps in there on the tackle. The Eagles are in Ravens territory. This time Perry has some room on the right side, makes someone miss with the juke, makes a second man miss, and is taken down by Bowler after a gain of 13 yards. Blake dropping back, throwing to Pinkston, has some room in front of him on the nifty move after the turn and gets 12 yards on the play. First and 16, Richie runs backwards for a loss of three yards giving a second and 13 Blake rolling out to his right side looking down the field 
throws it over to his right side just out of the hands of Todd Pinkston. Incomplete, third and thir 13. Blake drops back, throws it deflected over the middle by Kelly Gregg at the line, bringing up a 36-yard field goal by David Akers. The kick is up, the kick is good, and the Eagles extend their lead slightly, 17-7. to The Ravens taking over from their own 24. Bowler finds Kevin Johnson on the left side hook route for seven yards. Shepard there to take him down quickly, and the Ravens looking for lightning to strike, find it in the form of a Jamal Lewis truck stick movement. He puts someone on their back and no other eagle will touch him as he crosses the 10, the 5, give that man 6, a 69-yard touchdown for Jamal Lewis, and the Ravens come screaming back into this one at Lincoln Financial Field, making it a very manageable 17-14. to The Eagles will take back over on their own 25. Blake looking to continue his success in the passing game, finds Todd Pinkston over the middle for 15 yards, bringing up that first first and 10. Blake getting to the outside, throwing it over the top. Owens had the room, but he didn't have the ball. Just misses it outside of his outstretched hands. Brings up a second and 10. Blake finding Perry on the right flat, only gets three yards out of that one. McAllister was on that one quickly. Blake this time uses his legs to make something happen, scrambles to the left side, slides down before any punishment can befall him. A 12-yard gain for the backup Jeff Blake. This first and 10 pass falls incomplete, bouncing off of Greg Lewis's hands before getting knocked away. Second and 10, this time he does his thing yet again. Blake finding Terrell Owens for another completion, 18 yard gain on the play. Another first and 10 on the play action fat pass. Another pass to Terrell Owens complete. 17 yards is the gain and T.O. is catching all over this Ravens defense. Perry gets the carry this time and Ray Lewis is in the backfield to hit him for a loss on the counter, loss of one on the play. And on the second and goal, Blake passes to Owens over the top, loses two defenders, gets through some defensive pass interference, and catches it in the end zone for a touchdown. T.O. is loving it. He's stoked. He's got another touchdown in his stat column, and the Eagles are back up 24-14 to off of the beautiful reception by Terrell Owens. A nice pass from Bowler to Johnson there. It's a nine-yard gain on the play, and on the second and one, Johnson gets out to that left side again. He puts a nasty stiff arm on, the, on Brian Dawkins and gets knocked out of bounds by Quinton Jammer for a gain of 33 yards. So two runs by Jamal Lewis and almost 100 yards of work. You can see that dirty little stiff arm that he puts on Brian Dawkins right there, and he has a great gain, putting the Ravens right back into a good position. On the first and 10, Bowler finds Todd Heat for 20 yards. He's been a favorite target of Bowler's today, and another big play from this Ravens offense. But finally, the Philadelphia defense does something on the defensive line. The backup, Jerome McDougal, gets through, and that takes us into the fourth quarter. Eagles up 10. Starting off the fourth quarter, Bowler wastes no time. He gets it to complete to Travis Taylor for a gain of 19 yards right against the end zone. And on the first and goal, Nate Wayne takes the pass away in the end zone, intercepted by our outside linebacker, Nate Wayne. Give me the 360 dunk. Let's see that one again. Nate Wayne was war lurking in the zone on the pass. He has cookies. He has the ball back for the Eagles, and they are headed back the other way, trying to put this one away here in Philadelphia. Yeah, Brian Perry gets the first carry of the drive. Gets a three-yard gain over to the right side. Reading Hartwell there for the stop. Blake finds Terrell Owens again. His favorite target wide open over the middle. Almost uses that breakaway speed to get downfield. Demps drags him down for a gain of 20. First and 10. Richie gets the call. Runs it up the middle. Gets a good five-yard gain out of that one. Second and five. Perry runs it to the right side. Is met by Ray Lewis. You're not going to win that battle of the lowly rated rookie running back and Ray frickin' Lewis. And on the next play, Perry finds Owens complete on that hook route, keeping the drive alive. First and 10, Perry gets one yard on the toss to the right side. Second and nine, Blake rolls to his left side, finds Terrell Owens yet again, absolutely threads that needle in there for gain of 16 yards. And the Eagles continue to roll down the field and put some more proverbial space between them and these Ravens. Richie gets the next run up the middle for three yards. Terrell Suggs, who's been quiet today, gets that tackle. Perry gets the toss to the right side. The blocking is solid. He jukes around on someone, makes him miss, and gets across that first down line for a gain of eight yards. And on the very next play, Perry gets some more great blocking, has his speed out to the outside. Ray Lewis is pursuing, and he manages to win the foot race to get into the end zone for a gain of 18 yards. Another touchdown for the rookie Bruce Perry and the Oregon Duck has the Eagles up 31 
to 14. This is the Ravens' last chance to put some score on the board to maybe make this one interesting before the end of the game. Lewis finds an eight yard gain on that pass from Bowler on the left flat. And then let's just watch Bowler throw the ball away a bunch of times. Second and two, incomplete. Third and two, incomplete. Fourth and two to keep the game alive for the Ravens. He drops back on a quick drop. He throws it to the right flat. That one is bounced up by Travis Taylor and he gets absolutely hammered by Nate Wayne, putting this one away. And just to put the nail in the proverbial coffin, Perry gets another 29 yard run into the end zone. You saw that beautiful block from LJ Smith there and the Eagles offense. And Brian Perry has put up a turkey of touchdowns here in this game against a staunch Baltimore run defense and we may have a future in this young Oregon Ducks running back. Now the Ravens would come down the field, they would drive down in garbage time and Bowler would find Travis Taylor here in the end zone, four yard touchdown pass to make it a 38 to 21 game and that is how this one is going to close out. The Ravens do manage a touchdown in garbage time but that final score here in Philadelphia are the Eagles 38 and the Ravens 21 and we continue to be in that win column despite the catastrophic loss of our quarterback Donovan McNabb for the rest of the season. We are feeling good and confident that we can ride Jeff Blake into that promised land of a Super Bowl. We have a great roster and we'll be riding the talent up and down this roster for the rest of the season. We'll check out the stats before anything else. We had 307 yards passing, 105 yards on the ground. A lot of that were helped by those two longer touchdown runs by Bruce Perry and and those passing yards were, of course, done by committee. Taking a look at the individual stats, McNabb and Blake, very similar days. McNabb, before he went down with the ACL tear, 10 for 14, 153 yards, one touchdown. Of course, that touchdown pass was the one he was injured on. And Blake, 11 for 15, 154 yards and one touchdown. Looking at our running backs, Bruce Perry had himself a day, 14 attempts for 82 yards, getting into the end zone not once, not twice, but three total times. A wonderful day for our rookie running back. And looking at our receivers, Terrell Owens was, of course, the favorite receiver for Jeff Blake, his little safety blanket as he got his feet wet underneath him out on the football field. 11 receptions, 172 yards, and one touchdown. Pinkston also had that one touchdown. And Quentin Jamber, our new cornerback that we acquired for a couple of third round picks from the San Diego Chargers continues to be a highlight on our defense. He had seven total tackles and two passes defended. We did get through with a sack this time. Jer Javon Kirst played a lot better on that defensive line as well, getting a couple of big tackles for losses, keeping Jamal Lewis as corralled as he could. And we will move on next week to play the opponent of the Pittsburgh Steelers. We're headed to our cross-state rivals for the Pittsburgh Steelers. You can also see we have a big NFC East slate coming up. And before we go, we do have to take a look at that injury report. You can see here, as we said, a torn ACL for Donovan McNabb. This is the subject of our dynasty since he does have that 10-year contract. It was actually 06 when he got injured and was out for a long time, so we're just dealing with it a year early. So we're going to take what we have with this Eagles offense and defense, and we're going to try and keep going. Thanks for coming out for this one, everybody. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Once again, we're on the road to 500 subscribers, so you like what you see here. Just giving a little subscription, little check on that box really, really helps us out a lot. But a like and a comment also helps for that engagement as well. Really appreciate you all being here. We do live stream these games, so come through on a live stream sometime, and we will look forward to seeing you on the next one. Peanuts 24-7, signing out.